Hey guys, it finally arrived after I don't know how much time it took to arrive at its destination. So, well, I have to unbox this. <laughs> you have a ton of other videos, including uh, the one from uh, Digital Foundry. So, so this is this is really heavy. This packaging is pretty incredible. So shiny. Something that I will try on a future video is if I can create my own Amiga Mini library of games, my personal favorites. This is pretty cool. Look at this miniature. Yeah, and I have also Retro Gamer magazine to go along with it. And uh, obviously we have a quick start guide. And below this we have the mouse, the tank, mouse, optical tank, mouse. It'll bring tons of memories from the ones that had the A500 back in the day. This is so iconic. Just a bit smaller than the original one. And obviously the HDMI cable that matches <laughs> the color of the, the A500 Mini and uh, all its accessories. And obviously the brand new controller that was inspired, you already know this, it was inspired on the CD32 controller. It has a pretty good feeling. The guys at Digital Foundry didn't like it that much. After a while they say that it becomes a bit uncomfortable, mainly here on the D-pad. Last but not least, the power cord that obviously doesn't bring the charger. I believe that I have a spare one. Here I have the A600, the original A600, the smallest Commodore Amiga out there until this one arrived. Yeah, so, hmm, it's slightly smaller. <laughs> Look at this. So guys, yeah, here you have it, the A500 Mini that finally arrived after I don't know how much time and as I said, I will bring something different in the future, in the near future, because I'm gonna try to add my favorite games, my favorite Amiga games and load them into the Amiga 500, the A500 Mini. So stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Cheers! Uh, oh.